Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today on, on, on today's video I'm going to be opening up a PlayStation 3 fat model. Uh, this one belongs to a friend of mine and there's a problem with the Blu-ray drive or the DVD drive whatever it is and I just tested it now and it took a disc part way in and then wouldn't take it any farther and then I ejected it and when I tried to put it in again it wouldn't take it in at all so I'm thinking that there may be a disc jammed inside the drive so I'm going to open it up and open the drive and see if there's a disc in there so uh, there's a number of videos on YouTube that I've watched a couple that I've watched uh, showing how to take it apart so this this video is going to be kind of redundant if you if um but i thought i'd do it anyway and just practiced making another video so here we go hopefully you can see what i'm doing now on the left side of the console if you're looking at the front there is A warranty sticker right here and you need to peel that off like so and then underneath there's a plug like a rubber plug it's got a little handle on it so you just pry it out hopefully easier said than done oh that was easy it just looks like that and underneath the plug recessed is uh, apparently a Torx 10 and there's the Torx 10 screw okay so once you remove the screw you can slide the top in the direction that you took the screw out and off comes the top like so okay put that aside now once you get inside there's apparently uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws um, to be removed. They're Phillips, <coughs> they're Phillips head, and the screws are marked with with arrows. Now, the one video I watched, he said you take um, two other ones out in here somewhere but then the other guy said you don't take you don't take them all out so you don't have to take those two out so according to the one video he says all the screws are the same length except this one in the if the console the front of the console is facing away from you it's the screw in the back left corner and it's marked with a an S so I'm guessing that's indicating the difference okay remove the screws one two three four five six five <laughs> And the seventh one, which is supposedly longer, but I believe it's actually shorter. Yeah, it's shorter. Okay, so the the, the uh, bottom left one, if the if the front of the console is facing away from you, the bottom left one is short. That's why it's got an S on it. It's not longer; it's shorter. Now. They say that you just lift up on the back 
and he the one guy said it will feel like you're breaking it but you're not and I don't I didn't experience what he did where there seemed to be a lot of clips and things and and then you you tilt it up like I just did and at the front there are clips one two three four five six and they're shaped like this and <laughs> They hook onto the front. So when you're going to put it back on, you have to put the clips over the edge of the, con the front of the console and then you, you just tilt it backwards. So then you remove the top, put that aside. And here's the drive. <laughs> so what we need to do, there's a ribbon cable on the bottom of it. So you want to be careful. Apparently there's nothing holding the drive down, so you can just simply lift it out and as you lift it out oh there's the ribbon cable you need to undo the power connector so you can do it from either end the one guy did it from the one end the console end and the other guy did it from the drive end so I'm going to do it from the drive end now these guys oh these guys just flipped it over and there was lots of slack in the in the ribbon cable and they just unplugged the ribbon cable but this this one this drive has a a much different ribbon cable than what I saw on YouTube and it's taped down it's got a big white piece of tape on it whole, uh, which is covering the connector <clears throat> so I need to get the tape off first. I have a feeling that on this version of the console, they have changed the design. So maybe that ribbon cable doesn't come on, doesn't disconnect from the drive itself. And you have to disconnect it from the console, which means the power supply, which is this, has to come out. I'm guessing. I haven't seen any videos on on YouTube where they actually disassemble the console. There's not very many videos on the PS3 on YouTube, so I'm not sure what my next move is here. All right, I guess I'll try and remove the power supply. So you unplug the two plugs, there's one at the front, there's a big one at the back, two-pronged one, and then the screws again are marked with arrows, and they have a, an M on it. So we'll see what happens when I take them out. got a big plug on the bottom all right so power supply is off and now right here is the tiny connector for the for the drive so you flip it up there's a little black hopefully you can see that right here there's a little black lever and you flip it up and then there's a, a tab to pull the cable out and there you go now you've got the drive out so that was kind of a pain to have to do it that way so this drive is is very different than the ones that I saw on on YouTube kinda of sucks because I've never taken one of these apart before so it would be nice if 
it was the same as the one I saw on the two YouTube videos. But anyway, I did, as you can see here, I did pull some of this tape off, but I don't think you need to do that or should do that. I'm not sure. We're going to find out in a second. Now, to get the drive open, it looks like there's four screws on this drive. Two here, little silver ones, and two at the front, little black ones. There is a third black one, but I don't think it's necessary to get the top off the drive. Doesn't look like it anyway. These are, have very small screws. Very small screws. Yeah, this is pretty upsetting that this fat PS3 is so much different than the other one. The, the two videos that I watched on YouTube both had the exact same model of fat PS3, but this one is different. Of course it is! Okay, so once you remove the four screws, then the top should come off. Maybe. Hopefully. Like so. There we go. Lift it up toward the back, which is the fatter end. And off it comes, like that. Put that aside, and... There's no disc inside. <laughs> so what that tells me, I have no idea. I have heard on another YouTuber that I watch that the rollers get dirty and then they won't roll the the disc into the drive and that's kind of what I suspect in this case because like I said the the disc started to go in the first time I did it and then and then it stopped going in and then every time after that it wouldn't go back in. It wouldn't even. It wouldn't even draw it in. So, okay, I'm scuppered because I don't know enough about this. This drive. The one guy was talking about how you reset the drive so that it thinks it's empty, but I don't remember what he did exactly to to reset it. So. I'm going to have to go back to YouTube and try and do some more research. <sighs> from what I recall from the one video, I believe this in the back has to be at the back. And I forget what position these are supposed to be in. And then that indicates that the drive has actually reset. Because th the video he did, there was a disk stuck inside, but this one there's no disk stuck inside. so. Um, I don't think the drive needs to be reset. I think it just needs to be cleaned or something. Okay, it looks like there's two screws at the front of the drive. And there's two clips about a little more than halfway down the side. And that should remove the top, I hope. And voila! There's the drive mechanism. And it doesn't mean a lot to me. I don't know where the rollers are. I don't know what draws the what draws the drive in.
I mean, there's little rollers right here, but why they're not working, I have no idea. Yes, this drive is quite different than the than the one I saw on YouTube. The two I saw on YouTube. 